I'm out on the water today, man. This fish gave up a great fight. Now, I gotta say, man, I'm gonna make some tuna pokey out of this and give it the due respect that it deserves. In edible oceans and, and respecting and cooking fish, one thing I know, I wanna make a great bite for my friends. Now, with what the craziness and what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna be putting some cucumbers, tomatoes, orange, lemon, jalapeno, garlic, mint, and scallions. A little bit of heat, it's gonna be a great deal. Can't wait for my friends to come over. I gotta get busy doing this, so let me get started. What Edible Oceans is about is great seafood, a few ingredients, some great friends, and a simple recipe. And that is everything that I'm preparing today. So, with my simple ingredients, I'm gonna zest some orange to brighten up the fat, buttery flavor of the tuna. Now we're gonna put some lemon set. Go ahead. So now we're gonna incorporate some scallions into the mixture. We got one great simple ingredient, hot house English cucumber, that is always good in anything you put it in. Very simple. We got scallions so far, some orange zest, lemon zest. Now we're gonna cut some tomatoes. It's always great to have a sharp knife when you're doing a delicate dish like this with precision cuts. Make sure that your knife is sharp. If you don't have a sharp knife and you have a home, and what you're doing at home, make it serrated. It always works. Now, some garlic for a little bit of bitter. Okay, so now we got the garlic. Now we're gonna add a little heat to the kitchen and a jalapeno, not the spiciest pepper out there, but it's got a nice, mild, sweet spiciness. All right, okay, so I've got all my ingredients in here. Now, you know, keeping it simple and sustainable, I wanna put my twist on the way that I think a poke should be. I travel the world quite extensively. And mint, I find to be a very underrated, uh, you know, herb when it comes to a savory aspect, not just a, a garnish on a piece of lemon meringue pie or whatever it is. So I'm going to incorporate this into this, uh, being the fact that I'm in Caribbean, but in the Caribbean, you have a lot of different people from a lot of different parts of the world, from the Middle East, East Indian and that. And this is one of their favorite herbs. And as I've come to understand it, I've learned to incorporate it in more dishes that it brightens the dish, but actually it leaves a clean, fresh way as you're done eating it. Uh, that's uh, undescribable. Mint is mint. You can't replace it with anything else. A lot of people would use cilantro. A lot of people would use a lot of other herbs, but I think mint is just one of those summer go-to herbs that I think is gonna make this a hit with all my friends.